Save Unizulu is escalating its attempts to get Parliament to investigate allegations of maladministration at the University of Zululand. The campaign leaders say action has to be taken against rampant corruption, nepotism, looting, sexual abuse of students and the selling of degrees. The growing calls for action come after recommendations by the Portfolio Committee on Higher Education were apparently not followed through. Meanwhile, Campaign Secretary General Josephine Naker says all they want is to expose corruption and reinforce what Parliament has already said. Degrees for sale is real. In fact, there are currently students that have approached this committee to detail that a certain professor who is known to this committee is extorting money and sex from them on a daily basis to pay for his transport costs. They have told us plainly that why would they report this when rapes at the institution are covered up and the victims are the only ones that are treated like criminals. 17 students have died at UniZulu in 2017. Do black lives not matter? Students are raped and harassed, both male and female, which is swept under the carpet. There have been several cases of rape and sexual abuse of both male and female students. What has happened to the alleged perpetrators? They have been promoted, transferred to other institutions. While the victims' lives are shattered, the investigations are simply swept under the carpet. Why are reports funded by public money not being made public? For example, the Ernest & Young report was done in 2012. It has not seen the light of day, and there is a pending court case to request this report. This report was commissioned during the time of Minister Bladen Zamande, yet when we requested the report be made public, he refused. Parliament too has failed to act. When the Vice-Chancellor of UniZulu, Professor Mtose and Council, refused to appear before them four times, it seems nothing was done. Yet we have seen other committees of Parliament use the power vested in them to provide proper oversight by issuing summons, as was done with the former President's son. When staff members and students provided documents, evidence detailing the corruption at UniZulu, Parliament assured them that they would be protected, only to find that when they returned to work, they were dismissed by Professor Mtose. The situation is completely unattainable at the University of Zululand right now. There is no academic freedom. The university is under a veil of water fear. And nobody wants to talk because students have been victimized for a long time. The, in, the recommendations are explicit. There is no confidence in the, in the management of the university. And, and there is proof of corruption, but no, no concrete steps have been taken to date.